So let's talk about how to avoid these nasty white lines that can appear in your pattern. We all probably have seen these white lines from time to time in our patterns, but why do they appear? Will they print and how do you avoid them? One reason that white lines can occur is that you nudge a pixel. So what that means is that you have placed your pattern correctly or your selection if you're using the selection technique to create your pattern. But then you accidentally just tap, not that obvious that I did now, but you just accidentally tap somewhere on screen or tap with your hand and you don't even know it. And that will move your selection, just the pixel, which will create those nasty white lines. So that is one reason that can bring you those white lines. So another reason that white lines might appear is that if you're using the snapping and magnetics tool under the transform tool and snapping and magnetics is turned on over here and you're just tapping and dragging either your pattern or for example the selections when you're creating a pattern with the selections and the save selections actions then if you don't zoom in but you just trust these lines and place your tile you might end up not snapping it right. So let me show you how I do it to make sure that the snapping works correctly. And that is that I drag it up and it snaps. Usually for me, it snaps correctly. But then I zoom in really, really closely and I have my drawing guides turned on. So let me just show you that. I have the drawing guides turned on, edit drawing guides to the grid and grid size maximum. And then I tap done. And what happened there? Oh, yeah. And then I have my selection over here in the center that I have pulled up to the top left corner. And when I place it, I make sure that it snaps perfectly in the center. So I zoom in to maximum. And then, as you can see, if I accidentally tap, it will nudge a pixel. So I make sure that I place my tile, my square at the exact right position. And you can actually only know that the snapping works good if you zoom in to the maximum size. Because if you don't zoom into the maximum size, the snapping might work still, but you might nudge a pixel. So then the snapping seems like it has worked, but where then when you're creating the pattern, you will get those white lines anyway. So these are two of the mistakes that you might have made in your pattern that will make you end up with these nasty white lines. There might also be other mistakes that you have made when creating the pattern. And the conclusion is that if you get white lines, you have made a mistake that you need to fix. So the white lines won't just appear somewhere somehow you have nudged a pixel which is really easy to do without even knowing that you did it or something is placed incorrectly. So how do you avoid getting the white lines? The number one rule is to be very detailed when you create the actual repeat. It's very easy to make mistakes and especially if you're a beginner at creating patterns in Procreate. So be very thorough and mind the details and take all of the steps slow to make sure that you don't get these white lines. If you get the white lines, you need to move back in the process to before the white lines showed up. So usually that is before you create actual repeat and when you have only your motifs and they are not repeated. So my next tip is that when you create patterns with the selections technique, which I'm showing you in, for example, my class, three ways to create the half drop pattern in Procreate. You create squares and with these squares, you will resize them to half of the size of your canvas. So just let me show you quickly how to resize the squares to make sure that they are perfectly aligned to the edge and that they are the perfectly right size. So you can, as I'm actually showing you, in some of my classes, when you have the transform tool, magnetics and snapping turned on, you can tap and drag until it snaps in the center. So 1,800 pixels, this canvas is 3,600 pixels. 
So that is half of its canvas size. But if you accidentally nudge a pixel here before you let go and untap the transform tool, you might end up with those white lines. So another tip that I have is to use the blue nodes and change the dimension of your squares this way. So you do this by tapping in one of the blue nodes and you write in half of the size of your canvas. This canvas is 3600 pixels, but it can be 3000, it can be 4000 or whatever. And you just divide that by two. Make sure that you have your change symbol tapped in and then you write in half of the size of your canvas. That will perfectly align a half sized box to the top left corner when you tap the top left blue node. So then you just tap the transform tool again, and then you can do the same with all of your boxes. So this will ensure you that you will get the exact right size and that will, it will be placed in the exact right position on your canvas that you want it to be. I'm Maya Faber and this tutorial was a snippet from my Skillshare class, how to make more professional patterns in Procreate. So to get more tips and tricks from me on creating patterns in Procreate and how to make them more professional, check out that class. The link is in the description of this video.